Welcome back, this is Tony Phillips with Larry's Off-Road and we've got TC and Gus from California. Let's see what's going on in here, guys. Hey, Tony. Uh, hey, Larry. This is Gus the Bus, um, a labor of love, as you know, with all Volkswagens. Uh, it's in your blood and these machines have a soul and they just connect with you when you also connect with them. Um, found this bus four years ago in Carson, California and it was on a wing and a prayer. I mean, it was rusted, there were rodents in it, it was holes in the floor, it was barely riding and driving, and I think it only went in the third gear, but I was like, I gotta have it, I just gotta have it, because this is the first year of the Bay Window, 68. And uh, one thing led to the next, and one year went to the next, and then two, and this is it. Four years I've been driving this thing, it's my only mode of transportation. I drive it every single day, everywhere, I've taken it to, Atlanta, Miami, this is my second annual trip and uh, there's nothing like owning a Volkswagen. It's it's the greatest car ever. <laughs> Volkswagen yeah. is the people's car, as we all know, started in 1937 in Berlin and I've actually been to the factory in Berlin, so I go way back with Volkswagen. Awesome. How did you end up here at Larry's? Um, 1981, I had a 1968 Baja bug uh here 68 bus so something about 68 um and i was looking for parts i think i needed uh, a scat muffler i think it was a yeah, scat muffler been, yeah. and i came down it was a cold november and i'm like listen to this thing oh, it's kind of loud and then um you guys sold me my first muffler i think it was i don't know 60 bucks 70 bucks something like that <laughs> and i put it on and rusted bolts were breaking off and you guys came out and helped me get it on and my buddy Bobby had a 71 Super Beetle and it was worse off than mine and so we ended up spending like two days buying parts from you guys and the next thing you know every other month I was buying parts <laughs> from Larry's Off-Road and it's just become my go-to place so every time I come home and I was home last year I said hey Larry I'm coming by can I you, you, there? you lived in Springfield and you sold me a uh, brake switch Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't put it on, but when I got to Atlanta, I bought another one at AutoZone, and yours was the one that worked. Oh, oh. And um, Bob Blatt down in uh, um, Tucker, Georgia, he put it on for me. We talked through it, and he has a whole history. He's been there 41 years, and he does Volkswagen rebuilding anyway. It's Larry's Off Road yeah. has always been uh, my go-to place whenever I'm in Dayton, Ohio. Um, my father had a barber shop down in uh, on Woodman for 44 years, oh and I would always kind of work with him a little yeah. bit, doing the things that you know help sweep up and stuff, making a couple bucks when I was in college, and I would always sweep up to Larry's, get a part even if I didn't need it, or just to right. you know shoot the stuff and say hey and how you guys doing. So Larry's has been a part of my life for 30 plus years. So um, Gus, where uh, where all we uh, where have we taken Gus? Where all has he been? Man. You name it, Gus has been there. Gus has gone from L.A. to Tijuana. He's gone to Oklahoma, New Mexico, Albuquerque, Illinois, Missouri, Ohio, Virginia, D.C., Atlanta, Miami, the southern tier of Louisiana, all through Texas, coming through El Paso, I-10, all the way back to L.A., and again. And we're going to do it and again. And we're going to do it and again. So... Awesome. Gus has been everywhere. I, awesome. I drive him. I trust him more than I do a Honda right now. Oh, there you go. Hey, <laughs> there you go. If you drive him every day, you every get, day, you get, I drive you him get every the, day. Uh, you every get day. the feel. Of I've reupholstered everything myself. I've done everything sound deadening. I got Killmat. They sponsor me with all the uh, sound deadening equipment underneath this. These are just acoustic panels that I remember using when I was in uh, uh, radio DJ uh, yeah, uh, when yeah, I was first a, in college. So I put these on myself. That's and a nice install, easier than putting a headliner. It cost me 80 bucks. Oh, yeah. Seat upholsters, original. these are original seat upholstered covers. I have a, an inverter in the back so I can run microwave, refrigerator, uh, coffee machines. I have a second dual battery um, in the back. I have a 2000 watt uh, pure sign uh, uh, inverter. Um, click on and off switch. I got two plugs. Um, so Gus is home. Gus is home. And then I also sit on top. My wife and I sit on top. It holds 700 pounds, four guys. And we can sit up there, go fishing. We hang out and catch the breeze. We look at the ocean, uh, Venice Beach, Santa Monica, and uh, going to a Browns game. And I up. also can sleep on top. I got a pop-up tent that I put up top. If, uh, uh, my wife's like, "Cause I snore, so she'll sleep inside, and I sleep on top." <laughs> <laughs> well, let's uh, let's take a look outside sure, here. Sure. All right. Um, buddy of mine named jo uh, Joe Carlos in True True Candy T R U hyphen Candy K A N D Y did the paint job for me. I've done everything else. You name it. I've touched every nut, bolt, 
cranny on this thing. Um, the underneath has been pretty well taken care of. I had the front end all redone, new tie rods, new suspension, new Very transmission. Um, every emblem, every handlebar, it's been completely naked. I even have interchangeable smiley face uh, antenna balls from Tenna. I got red, orange, yellow, green, and I changed them on the move Gus field. Oh, hey, it looks solid underneath. Where, where did Gus start out? Was it California? Carson, California. There was okay. a lady who had it 19 years, and it was in her driveway, and it kind of was just kind of leaning left, and I kept going by, like, hey, do you want to sell it? She goes, ah, my, my son's going to fix it up. I'm like, okay. So another month go by, hey, hey, Carrie, you want to sell it? No, no, my son, he's going to get to it. And then I went by, like, the fourth time. She goes, make me an offer. <laughs> and I go, here you go. She goes, really? I go, yeah, really. Gave me the title. I drove away. It was chicka, 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 chicka. <laughs> Third gear, but but solid bones. But I solid mean, that, bones. That's what we solid don't. It's hard in Ohio. Yeah. Oh yeah. Solid. So I'm going to. Uh, I gotta get a cup. I'm gonna be here. I'm gonna be here. Uh, my engine is pristine. Oh, funky. This one doesn't have the original all the way through here, but 1776 progressive. Perfect car, I love it. Uh, like I said, dual battery on that side, deep cycle. Um, I put all new belts on it before I came. Plugs. Uh, I have electronic ignition. Got the green. He kids. loves. Yep. He loves uh, VR1 2050. That's his favorite. Ah. He gets nothing else. He drinks nothing else. No, I don't do that stuff. We have VR1. So yeah, he's. I got my uh, uh, blaze underneath for uh, any kind of fire. No, right here. It's right here. Oh, oh, oh my yeah, blaze, yeah, my yeah, blaze yeah, cut. Yeah. So, Love it. So it's, it's a must. Like a certain temperature? It puts certain it temperature. Pssst, and it goes for at least three minutes. And it completely disengages any. I have a vintage speed uh, vintage speed muffler on there oh, yeah, from Taiwan. Yeah, yeah, One of my buddies is a uh, uh, vintage speed distributor. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I really like them. They're, they're mainly meant for slam buses and bigger motors. But this is the one for the 1776. It's the uh, Bay Window Sport muffler from Vintage Speed. Those are nice. That is uh, all stainless. Yep, uh, all stainless, and it runs like a look, top. Looks like the heater boxes are Vintage Speed too. It yep. All kind of uh, not the heater box. Heater boxes are original. Oh, all right. They've just been spray painted, kind of a funky gray. But this is Gus the Boss. Looking good. Looking good. Old speed, put the drop spindles on the front. I didn't do horseshoe plates in the back. I wanted to keep it kind of, the, dropping it two inches makes it level, as you know, because they yeah. ride up high yeah, in the yeah, front. Well, and I'm so glad I did it. I also put Willwood brakes on the front, or disc brakes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Worth every penny. I know they're expensive, but I'm, you know, when Gus the needs it. Calipers, yes, wipes, and it, oh, it stops on a dime, doesn't rub. And it just makes, it's more stable when you drop it to two and a half, in my opinion. So. Yeah, yeah, I think, uh, yeah, those buses are really kind of like driving a super vehicle. And then also, you know, they're really cantankerous on the highway with the wind. I dropped it to it. When I open the windows to turn the vent in, it's like, it's like a four left. Yeah, it's planted. It's planted. Beautiful bus. All right, we're going to wrap this up. Well, thanks for showing us your bus. It's absolutely, beautiful. Absolutely, absolutely. And, Any uh, uh, parting words here? I don't care where you are, but if you come to Ohio, there's only one place to go. Larry's off road. <laughs> hey, All right. I like, I like That's it. That's it. That's it. All righty. Take care, guys. We'll see you.